Hello guys, welcome back to Withering Waves. So we are back with the second part of the new story update. And oh, I didn't mean to throw you in a pond, but I won't lie. Delicious. What do you mean, delicious? Anyway, hello, welcome back. Um, Yeah, we're back. We're going to carry on. Um, okay, yeah, we're going to do this. Um, I'm quite excited to figure out where the story is going. It's very pretty here. Very tranquil. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> we're going straight into it. Okay. I believe you are here for Magistrate Jin Shi. Where is she? The magistrate left Hong Zhen about 15 minutes ago. She should be at the Truth Seekers Pass now. Truth Seekers Pass? That's what they call it in Hong Zhen. You might know it better as the ruins of a Court of Savante facility. I don't know it as anything. What's Jin Shi doing there? Lady Shen Yi. Please elaborate. Huh? Oh, is she healing people? Her scale. Madam Magistrate, are you... I'm... Fine. How's the situation? Have we evacuated all the civilians? Yes. Remaining civilians have been counted and escorted to safety. Good. These hidden chambers should provide some much needed shelter for them to rest a little. Despite being the Sentinel's appointed resonator, I haven't been able to sense its presence for some time now. Oh. I can feel my resonance ability waning, and I get my power from the Sentinel. This can only mean one thing. Oh. The Sentinel's condition is getting worse. Lady Xing Yi, I need to know where the Sentinel was last seen. I can only fix the temporal disruption within a confined radius. It's already pushing my limits to keep this small pocket of space secure. Mount Firmament is in serious trouble, and we can't waste any more time. We need our Sentinel to stabilize the time flow. The Sentinel was last seen flying towards Mianlun Chamber, where it would normally rest. The Fraxidus likely swarmed it soon after. But little did they know, we had a defense system in place, built with the help of the court of Savante. It was reactivated as soon as our sentinel made it back inside. Oh. This mechanism has allowed us to locate their troops, and we've already eliminated some of them outside the Mianlun chamber. To get inside Mianlun chamber, we have to find the cipher key in Truth Seeker's Pass and unseal it with the Keyforge. Understood. I will go bring back the cipher key. You are injured. Please rest and leave it to me. The Fraxidus will most likely attack this place once I leave. You must stay here and guard it. I implore you, Xing Yi. Help me keep our people safe. Yes, I will. 
Madam Magistrate. Before I headed to Mount Firmament, the Fraxidus revealed a prophecy from our Sentinel. A fateful clash between the Sentinel and myself that would shape the fate of our city. I never intended to believe their baseless claims, but I was not surprised to hear it. The Sentinel had told me long ago that there would come a day when I surpass it in power. A day when the humans of Jinjo take control of their own destiny. Once we save the Sentinel from danger, I intend to have a serious conversation with it about this prophecy. And then she left. There's still one thing that doesn't add up. How did the Fraxidus kidnap our Sentinel? They had to kidnap a giant dragon. The Mianlong mm. chamber was once renovated by the court of Savante. Do you think their research could be involved somehow? I'll look into what you said. But once we have the cipher key, the Mianlun chamber will be left vulnerable to the Fraxidus potential retaliation. We must keep them at bay. Mm -hmm. Rover and I are headed to the Truth Seekers Pass to meet up with Jing Shi. We'll distract the Fraxidus main forces, giving you an opportunity to stage your ambush. Okay. And the locals will handle the rest. I will send some men to open up the side exit for you. Head south and keep walking a couple of minutes, and you will see the Truth Seekers pass downstream. Thank you, Lady Xingyi. Please, leave it to us. I really hope we get to test run her. I said that last time as well, but like, I really, really hope we do. In this place she was born, and in this place she returns. Our Magistrate's fate is bound to Mount Firmament. Okay. So what are the fractures? Actually, one. Oh, the Fraxus couldn't see this giant hole. Did Xing Yi and Jin Shi know each other? Jin Shi was chosen as a baby for her resonance ability and raised in City Hall to become the Sentinel's appointed resonator. All the government workers there helped care for and teach her at some point, including Lady Xing Yi. She grew up with immense responsibilities, forced to suppress her true nature from a young age. Thinking back, Jin Shi was only a teenage girl when she became the Magistrate. She has been burdened with unimaginable weight that most cannot fathom. Okay. <laughs> oh, we're going there. I know I like Jinchi, but like, I like this learning more about her backstory and stuff. I assume this is the Truth Seeker's Pass Xing Yi mentioned. Yes. This should be another Chronos Order. Mm. It should work in similar ways with the one we saw near the Luminous Shore. The entrance is built on that cliff, and it's been blocked. We will need to break the three Photon Vaults with ranged attacks first. Hmm. What? Nothing. 
I was wondering, how did the Court of Savante create such an advanced mechanism using the Sentinel's power? Mortals aren't supposed to be able to comprehend it. Oh, what's up with your I've arm? I've never heard of any human civilization having the ability to manipulate time. Unless the Sentinel willingly taught them. But why? But that doesn't make we need too to much focus sense. on items related to the Court of Savante in Truthseeker's Pass. Maybe we can find some clues there. One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chrono Sorter. Wait, where's the third one? Wait, One of the photon vaults always ends up blocked off. We can't seem to break three of them at once. Perhaps we'll need to use the Chrono Sorter. Wait. Can they literally just yeet us up here? Oh no, it is blocked. I thought maybe I could break that. But like, it doesn't look like there's anything to do that with. Oh god. Uh, wait, I'm generally confused. Oh. Good. Did you see the tacitite fulminate on that cliff? Yeah. Perhaps we can create an opening in this disc with an explosion. Yeah. I mean, I was looking for it, I just didn't know where it was. Cool. So, if I reverse time, if I reverse it back now, it's going to be fine. Right? It worked. The opening fits right onto the middle photon vault. Rover, now we can hit the three photon vaults simultaneously. Cool. That that stumped me. I won't lie, that stumped me. The quick. blockade has been lifted. Let's go in. Change. Not the button I wanted. Found anything useful? Uh, not really. Okay. Onwards. Okay. I really, really like the colors in this one. Oh, bad. Why are there tacit discords here? No. Were these monsters? They don't look like the usual tacit discords. These also look like the works of the Court of Savante. Did they create these simulated holograms to protect this place? Who are these people? And what do they do? Lend me your strength. Listen up. 
Let's do this another way. Sometimes there's just so many noises, I just have no idea what's actually going on. Strike back. <laughs> it will be cleansed. Oh stars. Feed my calling. Fury boils. As you wish. There's more. Let's uh -huh. do this another way. You know what? Oh, okay, the island was 66. Can you be like that? Fury boils. Burn. Feel my wrath. As you wish. Okay. That thing up ahead. Is it another mechanism? It seems to have unlocked after we got rid of those holograms. Let's go and have a look. Well, for holograms, they were quite difficult. Just saying. Oh. Did we get. Oh! Don't mind if I do. Okay. I don't really know what the bells are for. I know you can like hand them into someone, but like I don't know what, if that makes any sense. What is this? Oh. Sorry, I don't want to go like exp oh. Seems to be like a whole area. Maybe, I don't know. Might just be a path, but you know. What are we doing now? Am I gonna have to find three? The glowing patterns on that gate. It's a flare crest. Yes. The flare crests have a complex structure, but they can be deciphered with patience. See how each star represents a flare stone? That mechanism we accidentally solved earlier should be one of them. Oh. Yes. We still need the other two flare stones to open it. Wait. Hey, Bob. The blood and scales here. It's Jinshi. What happened? She is likely teetering on the edge of overclocking now. We are running out of time. Well, let's go. Oh, well, it was a good thing I didn't go and explore, isn't it? Oh. <sighs> Shine forevermore. Hmm? Onwards. Okay. I, do you know what? That's why I can't play this game. I just, like, subconsciously try and collect everything. Ah. The lines of Jin are decades have passed, but those researchers' presence still lingers in this place. Huh. 
Huh? Obtain from Spectrum Evaluation Subject C001, also known as due, from June to December. The primarily that that, that prime oh my god, how I reset the word. Researchers observed a 15 second frequency loss in subject C01 spectrum. Five additional tests were later conducted uh, throughout the following days. All data obtained reflecting the frequency loss were high consistency. The data exhibited significant increase of varying patterns. It was postulated that this event occurred due to the presence of subject C002, also known as the Moon Long Chamber. Subsequently, wait, is this chamber? Is that like another dragon? Uh, 32, 32, one factor experiments confirmed a significant correlation between subject CO2, CO2, and the duration of frequency loss in subject 1. Notably, subject 2 exhibited an inhibitory effect on the duration growth of subject 1. Based on the spectrum monitoring data of subject 1 from June to December, the following preliminary conclusions have been drawn. Um, subject 1 bears defects, malfunctions. Subject 2 can temporarily slow down the escalation of subject 1's defects but cannot make up for subjects one frequency loss. What? With the help of a peculiar visitor, we were given an opportunity to converse with subject one directly. It was meaningful and mutual conversation, though we didn't get as much information as we hoped for. But at the very least, the conversation proved one point. Our previous research was effective and there was no defect in C1. As per C1's own declaration, one of the temporal programs was lost, and during its prime, C1 had the capability of manipulating time by declaring it, or even halting it, rewinding it, and making corrections as needed. Nevertheless, the current condition of CO1 can be described as one of sickness, with inver irreversible disruptions in time, rendering any attempt at correction or restoration ineffective. Consecutively, Mount Fabiment has been transported into an isolated entity amidst the vast ocean of time, despite the initial purpose being one of redemption. Um, appendix by running through time flow models, we came up with two hypotheses. Hypothesis 1. C0's defect is non-congenital, and this defect may have taken place around the period of C1's first arrival at Mount Firmament. It has been confirmed that the defect cannot be reversed. See report. Um, the discrepancies in temporal process progression between the interior and exterior of the time bubble, it has been progressively progressively widening. Based on data comparisons, these exist a correlation between the de deceleration rate of time flow in Mount Vernon and the growth rate of the duration of C1's frequency loss. Expanding on the second hypothesis, if C1 were to eventually cease to exist, the uncontrollable flow of time in Mount Firmament would likely surpass its limitations and impact the broader range of regions, such as the entirety of Jingshu. It might be why that particular visitor offered to work with us in the first place. Appendi oh my god, how long is this? <laughs> Efforts are being made to advance the development of the artificial resonance objects, although we have not yet achieved success. We have decided to name it 
Oh. Okay. Um, I know of, I know we have our peculiar visitor, and thanks to every progress we've made so far, the Chronosphere project has been a success win. Um, as I had anticipated, they intend to restore and utilize C1's complete power in order to rectify the temporal dispersion. Oh. So who's C2? The Sentinel situation is worse than we thought. It had already sustained severe injuries when it descended upon Mount Firmament. With one of the temporal programs lost, it no longer had the power to restore time. Instead, it could only stop and rewind it. So the Sentinel protected Hongjin with its power. But it couldn't return things back to normal. It would seem so. Who's the two? According to their theories, the Sentinel's injury would worsen over time. And if the Sentinel perishes, the temporal disruptions will spiral out of control, engulfing all of Jinzhou. So the Fraxidus just added a pinch of salt to the already gaping wounds on Mount Firmament. Is there any way to cure the Sentinel? There's nothing we can do. At least that's what it says in these records. Only the Mianlong Chamber can provide temporary relief for the Sentinel, but it won't heal it completely. In oh. the end, the Sentinel and a peculiar visitor who is immune to time disruptions would have to come up with a last resort. The resonance? The Sentinel couldn't be fixed, so they decided to replicate its power onto a resonator through induced resonance. Their experiments resulted in the first Kronos Order, a man-made resonance object. Oh, I was going to say, is it um, Jinchi? So it worked? No. A Kronos Order can only rewind time within a narrow range. It's no match for the Sentinel's immense power. Jinchi! We are getting closer and closer to the truth. That's why they have to battle! <gasps> Two more Flare Stones left. Everything aside, first we must find Jinchi. Okay, wait, this got interesting. Wait. I don't want to fight him. Oh. Let's do this another way. Not bad, huh? Ah. Life is in everything. Life is an awakening. Nope. Okay, forgot how big that was. Leave me alone. Let's do this another way. Silence. Strike is weak. Oh my God. Fury boils as you wish. I forgot to die. Let's do this another way. My thing is about to die. Together we have. I'm so glad they spawn on the ground. <laughs> I would have been so mad if that spawned in the sky. Nice. So. The second Honors. specimen, I'm pretty sure, is Jinji. That's why they can, that there's going to be a battle and the she's going to, like, are filled with riches. take his power. Right? Is that what's going to happen? 
Oh god, how many of these bells are there? Another Chronos order. The second flare stone should be behind this gate. Let's restore the collapsed gate with this Chronos order. Okay. Ah. The quality. Never mind. No. Ah. I guess this is where I'm going to have to go. Right back. Wait, what is that? Oh. Uh Okay, I'll do that afterwards. There is still another photon vault to break. We can't reach it from here. We may need to look around for a better vantage point. Uh Well, I'm guessing this again. Yeah. Look at that device on the floating slab. It could help us open the path to other places. Shall we give it a try? Oh, no, I do actually have to use this. Okay. Hmm. So it turned you into a climb bang. Please use the leap device to eject yourself and crash through that ice wall. Precision. Another Chronos order. Let's give it a try. That doesn't look like it does much. The stone slates have formed a path. Now we can bring the tacitite fulminate across the water. Uh... Oh. Okay, I see. I see. I see. I see what we're doing. Kind of. I think. Wait, what am I doing? Oh! Huh. I'm... Do you know what? Sometimes I'm dumb. Do that, I swear. <laughs> I swear. Okay. I swear I'm okay. Sometimes. Perfect. Oh. This hidden area may allow us to reach that photon vault. So difficult. Fury boils. As you wish. Let's do this another way. Together we fight. Our lights shine through. Take flight.
Right, now we have to shoot all three. Right, number one's done. One last flare stone to go. There's a carrier lift nearby. Perhaps the flare stone is on the floor beneath us. We should be able to find Jinshi soon. As our 903rd experiment ended, and yet another failure, we couldn't help but reminisce about our initial experiment when we completed the first chronosphere, chronosphere prototype. However, we were always aware that it was a crude, crude replica of C1's power. My calculations my calculations show that the Chronos sort, how did they say it? Chronos sorter? Um, could only function within a specific distance and will become useless once removed from this region's time barrier, although they, they may still work at the luminous shores. Despite this, I clung to hope. The concept of a secondary resonance was more than just a theory to me. It was my life's work. Um, I was terrified to think it could all be a mere fantasy. Uh, the 931st Chrono Sorter, just like its pre predecessors, uh, was destroyed by intense resonance shock, but it successfully restored time for a brief 1.2 nine seconds, making it a valuable sacrifice. I was right. My belief in a secondary residence theory has been confirmed. The two entries resonate at high intensity. The weaker one can exert much greater residence power than the original. Why can't I speak today? Captivity. Cap Capti whatever. <laughs> the only issue is, however, the chrono sorter we've been making are too fragile for this task. I need a more powerful resonator, but the risk is too great. No one can withstand the resonance shock of C1 without enduring catastrophic overclocking. Note, I must speak with our visitor. I saw them telling C1 something. I am convinced that there is a connection between what they did and the brief success of the Chrono Sorter number 931. Yes, I had seen it with my own eyes. C1 must have transmitted some form of unknown energy to Chrono Sorter. What? Is oh, that so? What does it say? So this file confirms that the chronosorters are artificial resonance objects. They activate when hit with a strong impact to create the corresponding resonance effects. Yeah. And this also answers my previous question. The chronosorters rewind time through resonating with the sentinel. That sounds really powerful. No, it was nowhere near enough. The chronosorters shut down once they are removed from the sentinel's range, or the abnormal time flow on Mount Firmament. Plus, as artificial resonance objects, their capacity is limited. According to the Court of Savante researchers, there was a hypothesis that could potentially make them more powerful, 
the second resonance awakening hypothesis, which states the collision between two resonating frequencies might cause a second resonance awakening. A destined fight between Jinji and the Sentinel. Yes. That fight has to happen to trigger a second resonance awakening for Jinshi, so she may exert even stronger resonance abilities, ones that allow her to restore the flow of time. Did the research succeed? Countless Kronos orders were made to collide with the Sentinel's frequencies, but they were no match. All the machines turned to dust. One Kronos order briefly showed the power to restore time before breaking apart. This proved that a second awakening can indeed improve resonance ability. The research log mentioned that all Kronos orders were working in an overdrive mode. It's similar to how human resonators experience overclocking, they wrote. What's overclocking? Overclocking happens when a resonator overexerts their ability. And this researcher who wrote this suggests that it might be the key to triggering a second awakening. It doesn't sound like a good thing. No, it's not. Exhausting oneself will only result in destruction. In addition, I noticed another detail in these records. The Kronos orders required manual control, while the Sentinel Jue appeared to be under someone else's command. In the only incident of success, just as the Kronos Order was about to break down, that peculiar visitor gave an order to the Sentinel. And the Sentinel successfully transferred some kind of energy to the Kronos Order thanks to that order. Energy? Rover, do you have an idea? It's not me, is it? Or Rover. Oh. <clears throat> right. So, oh. <laughs> so we're back. It's pretty much the same video for you guys. But I... Wait. Why is there a thing? This isn't the team I wanted to bring, but it's fine. Inferno, you're no match. Let's do this another way. Ow. I defeated all of them and didn't get one echo. Um, that's what I wanted. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. Anyway. We still want to pull for Jinshi's weapon. We've also got to uncover the mysteries of what's going on. My microphone is even turned the right way. Of what's going on. So. I do like this team, but like. I feel like Mortify. Just feels better, you know? Um, okay, where am I going? Onwards. How did I get there again? Sit through here. Ah, oh. there's one down there. Ah, oh, I'll get the loader. Ooh. Ah, yeah, I remember. Okay, okay, okay. Jinchi. What do you mean, Jinchi? Jinchi, what? Huh? Oh, she's here. Girl, you do not look good. I'm just saying. Hey, bestie, how's things? You. Chang Li. Don't worry. Rover is special. The temporal disruption can't hurt him. She ain't worried about me. She's worried about you. Right, come on. I... <coughs> but... 
Cheng Li, you're. Shh. Oh, mother said shush. I gave my Sorry. word to be your pawn, and I intend to keep it. As your teacher and courtier, it is only right for me to do so. You're her teacher. And let's not forget, without me playing the wayfinder for Rover, we wouldn't even have him here. Rover has a strong connection to this place. You need his help to resolve Mount Firmament's crisis. We're here for you. Always. But we already owe Rover a lot. I don't mind helping you again. Thank you, Rover. Thank you. Was that a bell? Rover, I will do everything I can to rescue the Sentinel as soon as possible. And we can finally talk to it in person. It will surely have the answers you want. Let's cut to the chase. What did you find in Truthseeker's past, Jinchi? The truth. Sorry, that was cheesy. <laughs> According to the Court of Savante's records, the Sentinel was already injured upon its arrival at Mount Firmament. As time passed and its condition worsened, the flow of time became unstable here, causing temporal disruptions that could potentially threaten Jinjo. Only the Sentinel's appointed resonator can restore its temporal mandate. Their records indicate a solution. To reverse the rapid aging effect from temporal disruptions, I must deliberately collide with the Sentinel's resonance power during combat, triggering my second resonance awakening. That will enhance my power beyond its limits. Okay, we did speculate Let's that. Let's say you can achieve all that, but Chenshi, do you understand what is at stake for yourself? I understand. I share a resonance connection with Jue, but I never took the time to truly get to know it. I've been blind to its suffering for so long. I mean, it is a giant dragon. I mean, I don't really blame you. Sentinel Jue has been guiding us since the city's founding with its wise words and well-crafted decisions. Hmm. The temporal disruptions we face are just a side effect of its efforts to protect local people. Without the Sentinel blocking out tacit discords through its time manipulation power, Jinjo would be a barren wasteland today. So what do you plan to do, Jinshi? If the Sentinel's condition is indeed incurable, Nobody knows how far the temporal disruptions will continue to spread. Today it's Mount Firmament, but tomorrow it could be all of Jinjo. I... I will. Fight it. If it truly comes down to that, I'll fulfill Jue's prophecy myself. It's the only way to save Mount Firmament, protect Jinjo, and help the Sentinel. Have you thought about the consequences, Jinshi? Trying to trigger a second awakening by fighting the Sentinel, it could make you overclock at any moment. We both know what that means. You could lose your mind forever, or even disintegrate into dust. You don't want to end up like those Chronos Orders, shredded under immense pressure. On top of that, do you honestly believe you can fight in your current condition? I can see right through your facade, Jinshi. You're essentially committing suicide at this point. You're one to talk, my teacher. Oh. <laughs> I learn from the best. When have you ever backed down from risking your life for what you believe in? 
O? I don't remember ever teaching you that. <laughs> we all die eventually, but we need to stay alive as long as we can to achieve more. Jinshi, you must live and inherit the Sentinel's power. Then you can save and protect these people for years to come. Cheng Li. I... Jinshi, I don't intend to stop you. I know you've made up your mind. That's why I brought Rover here. All right. You may have already guessed it. Rover is indeed the hero who fought by our sentinel's side during Jinjo's early days. Huh? He is also the mysterious visitor spoken of in tales about Mount Firmament. Is indeed the hero who fought by our sentinel's side during... Oh, it was me! Okay. All evidence we've gathered points to this being true. I must have skipped something. If anyone can help us with the situation at Mount Firmament, it must be Rover. Okay. I guess. I don't remember anything, but I can't. Is that why our starting element is Spectro? Thank you, my teacher. Jingxi will keep your words in mind. Lastly, we still don't know for sure how the Fraxidus is keeping our Sentinel trapped. This will determine if you can actually meet it face to face. Yes, it could be any of these scenarios. Lady Xingyi is already on the case. We should get an answer soon. The cipher key should be inside the stone chamber behind its entrance gate. There is one more flare stone to work out. Let's get moving. I really like Changli. I do just want this way. Okay, let's go. There's no more notes or anything, is there? Don't think so. Bug. Ooh. Sorry, I'm, I'm a hoarder. We should know this by now. Uh, ah, oh, what's this? Oh. Okay. Look, our last target on those floating floor tiles. We need a way to restore them. Oh, oh, chest. It worked. The court of Savante set many traps here. They must have worked hard to protect Mianlong. Sorry. Huh? Ah, uh, what I'm gonna... I'm gonna get this chest first because... Onwards. It would be stupid for me not to. Oh, where is it? Oh, it's here. Found anything useful? Cool. Again, I want Jinchi's weapon. Oh, we could do a pull. Will we get it before we have to fight? No. I think I don't even know what pity I'm at, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh? Wasn't what I wanted. I want to say I'm at like 30 ish, so we have quite a ways, yeah. So. Yay. Oh, it's this. <gasps> ah, wait, no, we can actually use her. No, 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 no,
<gasps> we can! Oh my god. Okay. Deals basic damage. Okay. Resonance skills. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited for her. Woo! Okay. Filling up the forte. Oh! That was so cool. Ow. Yeah, it is. Come here, I'm a bit confused how- Ow. I- Listen, I don't- Ow. Where did it go? Oh, it's right. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. wait, how do you fill up her forte? I oh, like that. Okay, that's cool. Clear as the blade. Okay, wait, no, don't kill it yet. Don't kill it yet, please. Now that's a hassle. Now that's a hassle. Okay. I really want to see her ultimate. Be reduced to cinders. Ah, I love her so much. <sighs> Damn it, I didn't want to. I was like, oh, I'll get the first two characters and then it'll be fine. No. I'm done with all three flare stones. Good. Let's head back to the entrance. We should be able to access the cipher key now. Oh. <laughs> Damn it, I really, really like Chang Li. Uh, I want it to be good. I'm not. I'll just. Unfortunately, C1 did not respond to the matter concerning that child. However, the fact remains that the dead baby did come back to life. We did not need C1 to confirm anything for us, or else the strange occurrence of the day would be meaningless. As for the child's identity, there can be no other answer besides... As for how the dead baby was brought back to life, I suspect it has something to do with the turning back of time. But neither you, I, nor the person of Hong Zen are able to remember the events of that night in detail. If we rule out the possibility of a collective hallucination, this at least indicates that the phenomenon of turning back time on that day only affected individual entities and not all of Mount Ferment. A citizen of Huangzhen told me that a child is now being fostered in town. Maybe we should go take a look. The Sentinel never tried to interfere with natural death before. Why did it make an exception? <sighs> is it her death? Is it her? Is it me? I'm so confused. There's, there's too many. Shine forevermore. Things. Okay, looks like we're going lower again. Uh, upper. Oh, chest. The lands of Jinjo are filled with riches. Okay. All right. Have we already been here? Oh, we have. Yeah, this is okay. This is this quad chest. All right, let's go. Oh, it's so icy.
the music in this is amazing. I really, really am enjoying it. Oh. Okay. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to look up your skirt. Um the cipher key. This place is stunning. I'm gonna change character because I feel weird being at this angle, but it's the only way to look. Oh, there you go. Are we gonna get attacked? Rover, take good care of the cipher key. I don't know, I wouldn't trust me. I lose things all the time. I'm leaving the rest to you and Jinji. Now are you leaving? What about you? Please don't forget, I am your wayfinder. I journeyed with you into the mountains to ensure you meet up with Jinshi. From this point onward, I will be counting on you both to go and confront the Sentinel. This is all I can do for you. I'm here to guide, not intervene. The path is yours to choose. Not to mention, the Fraxidus has been pestering us non-stop. You'll need someone to keep them at bay. She's so cool. Yes, they've been constantly watching you, interested in your every move. They can never seem to take their eyes off of you. By all means, please carry on without me. As for myself... I have a more fitting location to make my contributions from. Oh, speak of the devils. She's so cool. Ooh, cutscene. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. How rude. This is not how we greet people here. Allow me to demonstrate the proper etiquette. Oh, I love her so much. Oh. Why does it suddenly feel really quiet? She's so cool! Oh! Ooh! Ah! Oh. I love her! I love her! I love her! Damn it! I didn't know I was gonna fall in Shall love we? today. Those artificers are nothing to worry about. Don't worry. Chen Li has her plans. I don't believe we will run into more ambushes on the way. Okay. Like I said, didn't expect to uh, fall in love today. Oh, let's just teleport, you know. She's so cool. Oh, my God. I wanted to be good. I wanted to be like, let's stop playing on gotcha games. You know, let's get a few characters. Nope. Not gonna happen. Oh. It's Madam Magistrate. She's back. I must go tell Lady Xin Yi. Yeah, run. Best to have a cup of tea waiting. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me today. Oh no, go, go forward. Onwards. Ah, uh, yeah, that's where we're going. Onwards. Oh. 
The Mianlun chamber is open now. You can proceed inside. Oh. Before you go, there's something important I need to tell you. Uh huh. And that is. How the fact to just imprison the Sentinel. Chang Li was right. Chang Li. They used the Court of Cervantes' research to trap our Sentinel in its resting chamber. How did they do that? They used the Chrono Sorters. Our captured artificer revealed that the Fraxidas sent a death squad to invade Mount Firmament. They had a twofold plan. First, to place the Chrono Sorter in the Mianlun chamber while it was still operational. And second, to lure the Sentinel back to Mount Firmament. Uh huh. Although their death squad was no match for the Sentinel, by forcing its hand, the powerful resonance ability of the Sentinel would clash with the energy of the Chrono Sorter. This would ultimately cause harm to itself. Okay. What if the Fraxidus modified those Chrono Sorters? I mean, they could have. They're just laying around the place. A whole bunch of them, pushed to their limits. All working together to deliver one massive blow. Hmm. But not even that was enough to take down the Sentinel. After the first hit, they set up modified flare crests in the Mianlun chamber to form a special force field along with those chrono sorters. Mm -hmm. It prevented the Sentinel from replenishing energy and eventually restricted its movement and perception. So, we must free the Sentinel from that force field first. It would be a task more complicated than it sounds. It's all right, we got this. The people of Hongzhen have lived with the Sentinel for generations. We can usually tell if it's in good shape or not. But now, the Fraxidus want to capture the Sentinel. They won't just stop at Mount Firmament. Madam Magistrate, I'm sure you didn't come here just for the Sentinel. Please tell us what you know, Madam Magistrate. Yes. I will tell you everything. So the Sentinel is actually injured, and it's been getting worse. The Fraxidus attacked while it hasn't healed yet. Their plans are devious as always. Madam Magistrate, you've already laid out this plan so far. It's always a challenge to decipher the Sentinel's intentions. But there were many theories about it in City Hall at the time. I couldn't fathom why it went through such great lengths to retrieve you from Mount Firmament and raise you within our walls. But now that I reflect on it, perhaps the Sentinel saw in you the potential to one day restore the temporal program and ensure the survival of Jin Zhou's inhabitants. I mean, maybe. Isn't it all about prophecies and stuff? I just never thought you'd be willing to follow through with that prophecy. Was it really her choice? It was here on this very mountain that I first encountered the Sentinel. Back then, I was too young to remember anything. Even the image of Mount Firmament has slipped from my mind. But this time, as soon as I stood at the base of Mount Firmament, I felt a wave of recognition wash over me. Memories long buried resurfaced with sudden clarity. Lady Xingyi, I was born with my life, my everything connected to our Sentinel. 
But my duty as its appointed resonator is not the only reason for my decision. I'm following the heart of my younger self before I became Jinshi. The girl who used to laugh with pure joy as she felt the snow from Mount Firmament on her face. I'm a seed, born on Mount Firmament. Carried by the wind to every corner of Jinjo. But now, I've returned to my place of origin. It's time for me to take root and grow into something greater. No matter what happens, or what choices you make, please remember, the people of Hongzhen will always have your back. Mount Firmament has been stagnant for eternity. Perhaps a sudden crack of lightning is what we need to break through the fog of uncertainty that has lingered over us for far too long. Once you pass through Hongzhen, keep your eyes open for a cave on the northern cliff. That will lead you to a shortcut towards Mianlun Chamber. The place is directly under Mount Firmament's iconic loom-shaped cliff. I wish you two the best of luck. Thanks. intense music here, I won't lie. I think I've really... Jinxi, so far everything we know about the Sentinel is still just speculation. You were right. But my weakening resonance ability and my connection to the Sentinel leave me no choice but to explore these theories. Whether it's fact or fiction, truth or a lie. I have to confront the Sentinel and see for myself. Okay. Oh. Alright, this is where you get hard materials. 